Benvenuti. Bienvenue. Konnichiwa. Bienvenidos. This presentation is offered by the Model Languages Department of Santa Clara University. And uh, here is a list of questions that uh, we are going to try to answer to during our um, conversation. My name is Marie Bertola and uh, I teach Italian. Mi chiamo Maria Bertola e sono un insegnante di italiano. My name is Seiko Horibe. I teach Japanese here at Santa Clara. Horibe Seiko des. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. My name is Nina Tanti and I teach French. Bonjour, je m'appelle Nina Tanti et j'enseigne le français. At Santa Clara University, we offer uh, seven languages, Chinese, Arabic, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and Japanese. What to expect? Well, expect to fall in love with languages at Santa Clara University. How? Well, through communication, culture, comparison, community, and connections. And we are going to tell you more about this. Nina, do you want to talk about how we teach classes at Santa Clara University? Yes, I can tell you that we start day one of elementary language one in the target language with uh, cultural uh, context, with hands-on activities such as writing on the board and drawing pictures, interaction with our fellow uh, classmates, using uh, authentic images, using authentic text from day one elementary French one. And we have fun, most of all. Here are my French students enjoying speaking French. We are also trying to uh, bring the outside world into the classroom and this is uh, how we do it. This is a picture of uh, uh, Italian students engaged into a conversation with native speakers. So and in advanced Japanese, we teach a language using topic-based approach. And in this picture, students are making sushi after learning about food culture in Japan. Our students are digitally and communicatively engaged in our um, daily classroom activities. After all, we are in the heart of the Silicon Valley and here are some examples of activities um, at different level of proficiency from beginner up to advanced. How many languages can you learn at Santa Clara University? Well, uh, all the languages you like, uh, we encourage you to take more than one language and actually it is very easy. For instance, uh, let's say that you speak a Romance language like a Spanish, then it is very, very easy to learn Italian and uh, French. Uh, we offer, for instance, uh, Italian classes for uh, Spanish speakers where students, they can learn in one quarter what other students learn in three quarters of Italian, but if you don't have, um, if you don't speak a Roman language, you can also learn languages that are very, very different from each other. Seiko, you have, you had a student, several students who? Yes, we do have a lot of students who speak Chinese, learning Japanese. For those students, they have the advantage of knowing the, the writing um, and makes it a lot more fun, easier to learn Japanese. And uh, obviously it is not only about languages, but it is also about uh, cultures. We offer also a lot of uh, um, uh, multidisciplinary uh, minors. For instance, we have a minor in Latin American studies. We have other minors. Yes, Santa Clara also offers minor in Arabic, uh, Islamic and Middle Eastern studies, as well as minor in Asian studies, where students take courses in our languages, um, and deepen their knowledge about the area through interdisciplinary coursework. Cultural comparison are a pillar of our uh, teaching approach. Nina, can you tell yes. us more? Yes, in the classroom as well as outside the classroom, students learn about products, practices, and perspectives. Here is Taylor studying in France, visiting the Louvre, which is a cultural product, but she's also learning about the importance of artwork and culture for the French society. 
um, down below, I think you see a student uh, with a Moroccan gentleman and they're sharing a meal. Again, the perspectives of sharing meals, the importance of sharing food in the culture. And then there's a student visiting Mexico on study abroad. So all of these are examples of how you learn products, practices, and, and perspectives outside of the classroom, but also you do that inside the classroom. It's very important also to think uh, critically, and uh, this is what uh, you are going to do at Santa Clara. You are going to think uh, critically about culture and literature. Um, a lot of uh, our upper division courses um, are um, based on cultural analysis and uh, literature, uh, literally um, uh, analysis. analysis. Uh, these are some samples uh, of uh, um, classes that uh, are offered at Santa Clara University. And the community and the connections are very important. One of the um, pillar of uh, Santa Clara University uh, approach, uh, it is uh, uh, the five C's approach. So we are, for us, competence, Conscience and, com and uh, compassion are very, very important. And uh, our curriculum is uh, based on service learning and social justice. Yeah, and one of those students, Jamie Stout, who was a Spanish major, uh, tells about the importance of the experience for him. And I quote, the curriculum focused on service learning and social justice sent me off campus to learn about the issues uh, facing residents in the university's surrounding communities while using my Spanish in a practical setting. Experience in the community through the Arupe Partnerships Program connected me to the Health Trust, a public nonprofit health foundation in San Jose, where I was hired full time as a program coordinator after graduation. Students, uh, um have many opportunities to get involved locally, but also in the global uh, community. For instance, we have uh, um, in the Italian program, students can uh, volunteer abroad in Italy during the summer. Um, Spanish students can uh, volunteer and do uh, field research in Mexico and in Nicaragua. These are just some of the many examples. Um, it's important also for our, for us that our students uh, uh, prepare also for their professional um, life. For the and for example, career. advanced Jap uh, Spanish study students um, worked on translation with a lo for a local community uh, company. They also worked on translation of our our um, book um, using their Spanish skills. Also. Um, a student who majored in Japanese and German at Santa Clara uh, went on to, um, to Japan on a government-sponsored program working in Japan full-time as a translator and interpreter for local government. Um, she is now back in the U.S. because of, uh, of COVID-19 and she is currently um, applying to um, Monterey Institute of uh, International Studies pursuing a graduate degree in uh, translation and interpretation. And then for French, we have the following examples. Uh, here's Yasmin, uh, Jasmine James, who had an internship in the Francophone country of Cameroon, working with the local government there on women's health issues, which helped her in her global public health career. Um, not, not shown on the slides, we also have the example of Favel, that's Friends of the African Villages Libraries, a nonprofit organization which increases reading materials in the, especially in the African country of Burkina Faso. And for that, students can do internships to help correct and edit those books that they supply for that uh, library, for those libraries. And then finally, um, after graduation, a lot of our students go on the TAPIF program. So that's Teaching Assistant Program in France sponsored by the French government and students after graduation go and live and work in France and teach English in a public school uh, in France to French children from preschool to through high school. 
and they have wonderful memories of that and it really spurs their career on in global education and in international business or whatever their career is it gives them a real boost here german students are also engaged in local communities um, you can see that the, these students went to Germantown in San Jose. Um, also, they uh, worked with uh, local high school um, students on Oktoberfest. Also, um, they uh, uh, had the opportunity to go to Korea Day, um, German Korea Day, at the Get Good Institute in San Francisco. What can languages uh, do for you? So languages can do a lot. They can help you to prepare for your um, uh, professions, for your career, um, but they can also give you an edge um, if you decide to apply for um, very prestigious uh, programs. For instance, here we have an example of one of our uh, French students, James uh, Wang, Yes, yeah, so James uh, was an engineering student, but also minored in French. And he really uh, credits French and learning French and French skills and cultural skills, helping him to win the Fulbright scholarship. And so he went to France, he's in there, <coughs> I'm sorry, he's in France now, <coughs> to study hybrid super capacitors uh, in a French suburb for a year for his Fulbright scholarship. And here we have Mariana. Mariana, uh, she is a, a poli science communication and a Spanish major, and she's always uh, our and she's also um, our um, office um, uh, student assistant. And uh, uh, she got uh, a very prestigious uh, um, Ackworth Fellow. She, but she's also uh, one of the finalists for the Fulbright. Um, leave the languages uh, um, at Santa Clara University, but also leave the language uh, abroad. Santa Clara University offer a lot of study abroad uh, programs in uh, different uh, um, on different continents in different countries. Um, mm, the preparation, uh, these programs are extremely comp competitive, so it is very, very important for you that you prepare and you take language classes before you apply. And uh, obviously, uh, once you are accepted into the program, it is important that you maximize your language experience abroad. How can you do that? Well, by taking language classes uh, in the target language abroad, uh, by living with a family, creating internship of uh, international fr uh, friendship like these students on the pictures uh, uh, here um, um, getting um, an internship um, abroad also it is extremely important because it's going to start your uh, international uh, network and consider also uh, volunteering once you come back from your experience abroad, you are going for sure to minor and major in uh, languages. This is at least the experience all of our students who studied abroad um, uh, told us. Students have a lot of uh, opportunity to uh, get engaged in the language inside, but also outside uh, the classroom. Yeah, so this picture is showing uh, some of the many, many events that we've hosted uh, outside of the classroom on campus. Uh, for example, we've invited very prominent speakers, filmmakers uh, to come uh, speak to the students, to the community, the university community uh, about their artwork. We have calli calligraphy demonstrations, food demonstrations, uh, panel discussions with other members of the university. Uh, so it's been a very engaging and uh, wonderful experience for the whole community. We have, speaking of a community, we have uh, many different uh, uh, conversation groups. Uh, uh, we call them um, table, conversation tables. So we have uh, the Tavola Italiana, we have La Table Française, uh, we have a Spanish conversation group, we have a Chinese conversation group, and we have also a Japanese conversation group. And these groups are open to all our uh, language students, uh, present and past. It is open to the community, to faculty and uh, staff. Um, we have also a lot 
of uh, uh, student organization on a campus and we have a lot of language clubs. We have a Chinese club, a French club, Italian club, a Japanese club, and uh, uh, many more um, clubs. Um, where to begin? Um, if you have already taken a language, uh, um, the place to begin, it is the placement uh, test. Um, everybody who starts a language uh, um, has to take a language survey. And then if you have already taken a language in high school, you need to take the placement uh, test at Santa Clara University. There is a uh, uh, language requirement, uh, depending on your uh, major, the language re requirement, it is uh, of mm, two or three quarters uh, um, of a language study. And this concludes our presentation today, and we would like to leave you with this wonderful picture. Yeah, so this is our uh, end of the year celebration. Uh, where we celebrate the accomplishments of our students, including the five Sigma Iota Honor uh, Society members. And it just shows what a big happy family we are. And we really hope that you have enjoyed this presentation and, and especially that you come join our classes. So we thank you for um, your attention and uh, um, we really, really hope that you enjoy the presentation. We hope to see you to our um, classes and stay safe. Grazie mille. Merci. And one last, one last word. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Send us an email. A presto, arrivederci. Au revoir, à bientôt. Sayonara.